I'm in LA. I haven't spoken to you guys in a couple of days. I know completely random. I guess this vlog is now just a mixture of whatever the hell I was doing for the last week and LA because why not? It is currently Tuesday. We have some fun things going on, I'd say, while I'm here. I'm here for 12-ish days. I'm here to take care of my mom for something that she wants me in town for. And yeah, I'm just really catching up on like uni work that I haven't been able to get done since graduation happened a couple weeks ago. I know that sounds very strange. I'm doing my final semester online and the online courses end like a couple weeks after the brick and mortar courses ended. So I'm just finishing all of that stuff out right now. So that way I can actually officially get my diploma once the semester closes. I only have a couple weeks left. It's not that big of a deal, but I've been so busy that I haven't been able to actually get anything done or turn anything in. I'm really excited to just be in LA, have the house to myself, have the time to like sit down and work and not be distracted. The lighting is horrible right now. I'm really looking forward to just hanging out with some of my friends, getting my work done. I'm also going to be recording some music while I'm here, which I'm very excited about because I never have alone time to do it. And I've been working really hard on some songs, so hopefully we get something good. I am going to take my lunch break and go to my favorite place in Calabasas called Health Nut, where the Kardashians go and they like have those giant salad bowls salad bolds. <laughs> the salads are actually really, really bomb. So I'm going to go get myself a health nut salad because I have not had one since last year. And uh, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Five, ten year plans are contagious. I attack that sh I'm tenacious. And if you ain't, get the f out of my way. Hi guys. I don't know how well you can see me right now, but um, same day. I'm just a bit more put together. I'm going to have dinner with a friend of mine. No, you know, I'm going to go outside. So. I mean, that's Better. Anyway, I'm going off to have dinner at this place that I used to go to all the time called Jinya. It's a ramen place, um, even though it's a bajillion degrees outside. I have an early morning tomorrow because I have to get to work. It'll just be a chill night. Hopefully the weather stays nice because I definitely did not dress for it to get randomly cold. Maybe I'll grab a Priscilla's while I'm down there, if I get down there early enough. Good morning, everybody. I am about to go into the office. Just something basic. I don't know. Don't mind the mess. I had my coffee in here this morning. Little blazer from Zara. Actually, I think the entire outfit is Zara. I'm running a little bit late. Where are my car keys? That's important. It's a little bit of chaos this morning, guys. Ah, they are in the shorts that I wore last night. Like, actually, what time is it? 6.03. Okay, so I'm still, like, doing okay. I'm hoping that the traffic isn't that bad and that I can be where I'm going for these meetings in 55 minutes. Eek. We'll see. I'm going to love you and leave you because I have to get to work. But I'll check in with you guys in a little bit and uh, let you know how the day's going. Hi guys. I woke up very early this morning, took my mom to a doctor's appointment, then came home and started working. And now I am going to go to my friend's house for dinner. And I just wanted to say hi. Um, last night I went to my friend Danny's house, or his apartment, sh should I say. He moved into a new apartment back in March and I haven't s actually seen him since November just because every time I've been in LA we've both been so busy. Him with the move and me with uni, so I got to see him. And his roommate Malcolm is also a friend, so, um, it was really cute. I'm sucking on a Ricola drop because I still have laryngitis from like the last three weeks because I've just been overusing my voice way too much and I know it's probably really damaging but probably I mean very because if I've had laryngitis for this long it's like okay like I'll stop talking it'll get a little bit better and then I'll go and do something or I'll have to sing and then it'll go again it's been a never-ending cycle so Excuse me while I suck on my little Ricola drop. I'm very excited. I just got this jacket in from Zara. No joke, I've been trying to get a hold of this jacket for a month and a half to two months, but everywhere I've gone, it's been sold out. I've been obsessed with it, so I finally got it. I had to come all the way to America to get it, but whatever. I was gonna wear these glasses, but I don't know how I feel about them with this outfit. I didn't want to do my hair either, but like I might have to run a blow dryer through it. I'm not putting any concealer on or anything. like. This is real, this is me, I'm exactly how I'm supposed to be, so I'm gonna let the light shine on me. On that note, I'm gonna go, just wanted to fill you guys in. I feel like I need to like talk more about things. My life just kind of like keeps going the same every day. Like I wake up, I work, go try to occupy my time with a friend, and then I 
sleep, wake up, work, and it like repeats. Surely there will be something that comes up. I'm going to definitely hit very bad LA traffic, I'm trying to get to my friends. So without further ado, I will bid you farewell. I'm currently sporting last night's everything. Last night's outfit, last night's hair, last night's makeup. I just got home. I really need to. I stayed at my friend Lucas's last night because we went out and it was so much fun. It felt like we were children again, like just bopping around West Hollywood. But like we got home really late and we passed out. We got home and we wanted to order food and I asked him to get me a salad. Who orders a salad after a night out? Apparently me, I was feeling healthy. Just wanted to check in and say hi. I have to go shower and get ready because I'm going to lunch with some friends today. Yeah, that's, that's the update. I haven't turned my camera on in a couple of days. So this LA vlog, I don't really know how much of LA is actually in it. I am currently getting ready to go to the airport and like an hour to go back to London. I don't think I have enough footage like for this vlog to like end it here and make it an LA vlog. So I'm just gonna keep going until I get back to London for a couple of days and hopefully there will be more interesting things going on. This trip home has been much needed. I'll put it that way. It was a much needed trip home. You know, being far away and being in a different country is so cool. It's like an amazing life experience, right? But like coming back home where you feel just like 100% safe. It's a fun little thing that happens when you uh, when you get to come home and be with the people that you love and that love you unconditionally. Not that there aren't people in London who love me unconditionally. Just because something is amazing doesn't mean that you can't like, doesn't mean that it's not still an adjustment. I feel like I'm definitely still going through a period of like adjusting to being there. It's getting better. It's just not quite like, solid yet. Any hoozles. My sister is being a doll and taking me to the airport. I got us health nut salads going out the way I came in. I hope that this flight goes by really, really well and I will check in with you guys probably when I'm back in London. Hoopla's this week. It's the Queen's Jubilee this week. Lots of stuff going on this week. If you're still sticking around and watching this, thank you. I appreciate it. All right, you guys, it is Hoopla day one. Hoopla is a very fun gay festival. I'm living because I didn't get to go to Coachella last, this, this year. Today I am giving metallic alien robot out of this world realness. Only thing is, is that these goggles rest on my nose very weird and tight and kind of sharply. I had to dull it down a little bit. Prosecco is rolling. I don't know if I'm actually going to bring my camera with me to the festival today just because it's going to be a lot and I really don't want to lose it, but I will be taking Instagram stories and Snapchat stories, so I'll have some vlog footage to throw in there. Let's go visit with the boys. Hi! My first hoop player, so excited. It's our first festival together. It is. Cheers to that. Cheers. I haven't seen Nathan since my birthday. I'm going to get drunk together all weekend. I'm going to get drunk on the argument, fall out, get back together. We never argue. No. When have we argued? <laughs> when have we actually I'm argued? Joking. I'm joking. There we go. Hi. What are you wearing? I'm wearing this top from Amazon. That's it. Iconic. <laughs> Your shorts are so cute though. They're kind of amazing. I love them. Thank you. Do I look boring? He says with the most extra sunglasses. If you're boring, then the rest of us. No, no, no. You look like a little baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> a little homosexual baby doll. I love Nathan's laugh because he gets he puts his entire like body, body and soul into it. <laughs> Wait, boys, come here. We have to post. I know. We need to post for a potential thumbnail. And if not, just great B-roll. Cheers. Cheers. Oh hey. Ooh, but do it do it around. Cute. Thank you. I will check in with you guys in a bit. Just wanted to show you guys what we were doing because I haven't, I've been so bad at turning my camera on the last couple of days. I just feel way, pushing on my chest and it's squeezed till I suffocate. Better change my mindset, meditate. It's pretty cool that I'm alive and have better days. I could walk, see, hear, I should celebrate. Think I could change my mind, maybe elevate. Living life every day. Day two of Hoopla, and we are doing DC comic book universe. I had to pull out Harley Quinn. The Flash. Oh my god, yeah, Batsy, Batsy, Batsy. Look at him. Literally the sexiest Batman 
I've ever seen. I just wanted to show off some of our fits. The rest of our group left and uh, headed to Rockwell Park now. I love this costume so much. And I think my, I think this might be like some of the best Harley makeup I've ever done. This was incredibly difficult to do with my own hand. Each of us and that's okay. Well, I just wanna be happy. How to get there, hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us- I look like I got dragged through a hedge. Backwards. It's the Monday after all the hoopla celebrations. I woke up yesterday at 5.30 p.m. It was a fun weekend, to say the least. It was just wild and fun and crazy and very, very, very gay. I think I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close. I actually have no idea what's been in this vlog at all at this point. If you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you've been enjoying my vlogs. If you're enjoying my content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye guys. Mwah.